come back to a restaurant that you know for a fact has been deadly ill before? <laughs> yeah. Why <laughs> I did a Taco Bell once and almost killed me. <laughs> I ended up in an overseas hospital and it looked like something from a third world country. It had a glass IV. Oh, goodness. It uh, had nurses that looked like they were repurposed nuns. <laughs> <laughs> There were crosses on all four walls. Not traditional crosses, but like historical crosses. Crosses where like you can see Jesus' ribs and like blood everywhere. And I'm laying in bed thinking about how I'm like gorged on Taco Bell. I got better though, and I was eating chalupas like a week later. Taco Bell can't kill a real motherfucker, right? <laughs> Technology's awesome, but it can get you into trouble. Me and my wife recently picked up a smart speaker. Uh, it's nice, you can pair your phone with it and everything quickly. Uh, the problem though is in the, in the wording, it's smart speaker. Um, if I came in a box, it wouldn't be smart human. We, uh, we, we hooked up some music to it, and we were listening to it late last night, and uh, I fell asleep or whatever, didn't think nothing of it. And uh, this morning, I was uh, I was in the restroom jerking off, and I was watching porn. I was trying to watch porn, and I was like, I got the porn. And I was like, I finally fucking found something I want to watch. You know, I'm going go through, and I'm like, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. And I'm turning up the volume, and I can't hear shit. And I'm like, why? What the hell is going on? Meanwhile, in the living room, my wife is watching the Downtown Happy Marathon, and all you can hear is, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm about to, like, get, 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 get. I watch weird shit, but um, it was embarrassing. This isn't really a joke, it's more of a PSA. Just don't fucking do that. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. I'm super, super excited to bring you here. Um, I like to use this time when the weather kind of snaps to, uh, to use weed killer to draw dicks in my friend's lawns. <laughs> it's something new I've been doing. It's working out really, really well. Um, I use it, I do it for like the dumber friends. Uh, whenever they see it, they're baffled. They're looking for answers. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like a redneck X-Files. Um, they come to me, and they're just really confused, and I use that, that opportunity to, to walk up to them, and I get real, real quiet, and I say, dude, maybe it's aliens. <laughs> and they say, maybe it is. Maybe it is! <laughs> Half of my friends still believe in extraterrestrial cock circles. <laughs> Recently, to streamline the process, I, uh, I got inventive and I started making dick stencils. <laughs> and I was like, well, if I make these stencils, then I can hit multiple houses. I can get, you know, I'm like the Santa of dicks and yards. I just like get it to everybody in one night, you know? Make it happen, they wake up, and boom, there it is. Uh, it's, it's all fun and games, though, until you get pulled over in a school zone with a hatchback full of dick stencils. Then you end up on registries and shit like that. Uh, I don't advise that either. So really, tonight was about life lessons. Two of them, fuck technology, and second one, don't uh, put dicks in people's yards. Have a good night. <laughs>